Dry eye is uncomfortable and frustrating, but as an optometrist specializing in dry eye, I've had a lot of experience in guiding patients on their dry eye journey. In today's video, I'll share the top four tips I have to help you stop dry eye disease in its tracks. Welcome back to iSchool with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, and comfortable eyes. Give a little love tap on that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. And before we get started, I wanna thank iLove for sponsoring today's video. Um, they made it possible but the content is still all mine and loaded with tons of dry eye tips for you. So here are four tips to help stop dry eyes. Number one, we wanna get into good at-home habits with good quality products. I strongly prefer artificial tears that are preservative-free over those containing harsh preservatives like BAK or benzylconium chloride. I would also recommend looking for hyaluronic acid as an ingredient in your artificial tear. My favorites are Optase and Oasis tears. Make sure to avoid redness reducing drops that will cause rebound redness like Visine and use Lumify, but do so sparingly. Also in the at-home category is just making sure to do all the steps and do so consistently. So we want to heat, cleanse and hydrate. Consider adding other steps like a hypochlorous acid spray or a nighttime ointment if you need it. Again, quality and consistency here are imperative. I do like the Hydrate products by Drs. Travis and Jenna Ziegler. They make a really high quality reusable eye mask for your hot compress, as well as a hypochlorous acid spray that helps cleanse and soothe the lid and lash margin. Number two is looking into your systemic health. It is incredibly common for dry eye to be related to other systemic issues. So you need to go in for your annual checkup with your primary care doctor to rule out other comorbidities. I run a dry eye clinic and I see patients all the time with autoimmune disease, diabetics, and other folks with different comorbidities happening and dry eye as well. So consider asking about testing for Sjogren's syndrome or other autoimmune conditions if you have a history in your family or if your symptoms warrant further testing. You might also consider allergy testing, especially food specific allergy testing, but environmental allergens as well. Likewise, consider finding out your serum levels of essential vitamins like vitamin D, vitamin B12, and vitamin A. It's possible that supplementation or dietary changes could help with your signs and symptoms of dry eye. You'll also want to assess your diet. You want to try to avoid or limit foods that cause inflammation like refined carbohydrates, white bread and pastries, french fries and other fried foods, soda and other sugar sweetened beverages, red meats, processed meats, and finally margarine, shortening, and lard. Instead, you wanna go for things in your diet like tomatoes, olive oil, green leafy vegetables, spinach, kale, and collard greens. You want nuts like almonds and walnuts, fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines. Fruits like strawberries, blueberries, cherries, and oranges are all very helpful. Number three, go to a dry eye specialist. Your primary care eye doctor will know the basics, but chances are that you'll need more than that. Here's what to look for. You want your dry eye specialist to do qualitative testing. Tear breakup time, Shermer, Inflamadry. Dry eye specialists will be quantifying as many measures as possible regarding your dry eye care. Older school thinking in dry eye treatment involves mostly at home artificial tears, warm compresses, and steroids or immunomodulators like Restasis. As a dry eye specialty center, I certainly still use all of these therapies, but I've also integrated the latest in dry eye therapies like in office procedures, IPL, low level light therapy, heat and expression to clear the glands, and even lid margin exfoliation. Number four is to be consistent with your specialist recommendation. Your eyes did not get like this overnight, so it's going to take some time and patience to fix them. More importantly, it's important to understand that your eyes naturally exist that way, so they're going to go back to this if you fall off the wagon. Utilize habit stacking, check out my videos on dry eye routines, or go to my website and download the handy habit <laughs> tracker. I can't say it any other way. <laughs> it is thus and therefore a handy habit tracker. 
I hope that these dry eye tips are helping you. Let me know in the comments if you have any can't miss tips that have helped you in your dry eye journey. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it helped. And if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Please join us every week. That is it for today's iSchool. Class is dismissed.